Once you have upgraded the firmware in your Insight local device to the latest revision, and after you have restarted your Insight local device, you will need to get logged back in. Make sure that you are still connected to your Insight local device through your Wi-Fi network, and then enter the default IP address 192.168.100.1 into your web browser, and then go ahead and enter your password and get logged in. And we can verify that our Insight local device has the latest firmware right up here. Our next step is to go ahead and upgrade XW Pro. So by clicking on devices and then clicking on the XW Pro, you can see here that this device has old firmware. So we'll need to get this upgraded next. So go ahead and click firmware. And then for a single unit, click upgrade. You'll get a warning that during the upgrade process, the inverter will not be able to provide backup power. So if you need power to your critical appliances while the upgrade is taking place, you'll need to bypass your XW system with either grid or generator power. So click OK, and then go ahead and browse for the firmware file that you saved to your desktop. Here's the XW Pro firmware right here. Click on that and click open and let the firmware upgrade process complete.